My biggest aim is to help people change their lives economically, socially, and spiritually so they're ready when the Lord comes. In Papua New Guinea, villagers depend on growing crops and raising animals as a source of income. They will often find that there is not much income to live on. A lot of the younger working generation decide to move to the cities to find better paying job opportunities, leaving the older generation to work in the villages. Adventist church member, Brother John, takes it upon himself to visit villages and educate them on how they can thrive in the village environment. He studied agriculture at a prestigious agricultural school in Japan. He teaches them how to maximize their earnings by sharing his formal education with them. Some people get on me and say things like, you shouldn't give away a free service. They should pay you for what you're giving them. But when I hear that, I ask them, did you pay for my school fee? It is up to me how I use my knowledge to help others. Brother John usually visits villages with Adventist members as a gateway into the village and then welcomes everyone in the village to join the lesson. His visits begin with prayer and a short Bible lesson. He teaches them practical skills about how to do things, like how to make your own chicken feed or the best way to grow their crops. The villagers get a hands-on demonstration of how to perform the farming techniques. These tangible skills allow the villagers to earn more money and improve the quality of their lives. Brother John explains how their jobs are very important to the country's economy. With this knowledge, the villagers feel more confident and excited about doing their jobs. That's why I'm so happy that I can be involved and go places to train others. When they're satisfied, I'm satisfied. Brother John's approach not only encourages the church members in the village, but also shows others that he cares about them. He is doing his best to follow the example Christ modeled for us when he was on the earth. Through this ministry, many people have felt the love of Jesus. The churches are growing in the villages that Brother John has visited. Since the villagers are making more money by using Brother John's farming techniques, church members are also giving more to support their church and mission offerings. I have realized that the tithes and offerings have gone up in all the districts. Please pray for Brother John as he continues to volunteer his time to share his knowledge with the villagers of Papua New Guinea. Pray that he can continue to model Christ's method and spread the message of Jesus. Thank you for supporting Mission.